afternoon all. Very hot today in the UK. Yeah. Uh, there's a nice UC tournament, I think, this weekend. Uh, starting about three hours, about 8 o'clock GMT. Uh, first round. I think you have to be around about 20 minutes before, 10 minutes before, until someone you want to join, if you want to join in. Um, I've had a few games in this line earlier on bullets, chess. Uh, if you visit my live stream channel, uh, you'll see quite a few of Castle and Queenside and Black Castle and Kingside. But here, okay, um, Kingside, well, Bishop pointing quite nicely on the Kingside. Uh, maybe like d6 or something? Uh, or g3 first or d6? Um, I'll play d6 and we'll just take that pawn, that nifty pawn, um, otherwise b4. If we we'll just take the pawn for a sec, and then maybe queen c4 hitting the bishop on f4. And d6. I don't want b4 to happen, I want to keep the bishop on g7. I don't really like winning material. Uh, but here there's a point to it. I can get to play d6. So I might try and play in this tournament. Uh, D6 here looks pretty tasty for 97 check. Um, was anything better? 97 check. We'll just leave the knight for a moment. And uh, what about just rook? A rook move. The center. So 97. Or um, keep keeping the knight high in G7. Looks quite crushing already, uh, but is it? There's knight a4 potentially coming along, so maybe it's not as good as it looks. It's check and knight c6 winning the exchange, surely. But then knight a4 again there. Hmm. So check king h8. Knight c6. There's knight a4. <sighs> Can I just play, I don't know, b3 here? If I play b3, uh, then there might be c4. Or rook e2, or rook d2. Okay, what about rook d2? Prophylaxis move. Well, there's no knight d5 because of the mate. Um, say rook e8, knight e7, c6 then. And then if knight a4, queen c4. So I would be winning the exchange. So in effect, knight e7 to c6. Okay, that's been parried. Just g4 here, maybe g5 later. Also, knight e5 looks strong, just to kick the queen. So here, I don't know, queen c4. I'm hoping queen c4 is okay. There's rook b4. Okay, so maybe maybe queen e5 instead. Rook e8, knight e7. There's no knight c3 just yet. I guess there's queen b5. <clears throat> queen b5, there's not, no real threat there. Rook e8, knight e7 check, I think. If rook e7, maybe I'll just take with the queen. So now I can get to play g5. Is it worth playing g5? I'm not sure it is. Um, Would that just knight g5? Threatening um, and on Queen G4 there, otherwise uh, and Queen F6 no, almost, but Queen G4 does the job for Black. So G5 gets away my uh, G5 square. Knight G4 there's Knight H7 mate. If I play Knight G5 and I hope for the best or just H3. What about just H3? So I want to play Knight G5 next without Queen G4. I lost a bit of time there. <coughs> Holding on to the g4 pawn. <clears throat> Two and a half minutes. So knight g5, then what? Knight g5, then what? Indeed. And c3 coming along. Oh, so it's getting dangerous. What about rook c2? Onto c3 with um, b3. What about that? Rook e2 even better. 
traveling on um, E8. So B3, I'm hoping, is an answer to C3. Is black really in a position to attack here? The queen's very good centrally. Uh, okay. Knight g6, unfortunately, is not working. Or is it? Check. Nope. It's not decentralizing the queen. Or is it? If c3, there's almost queen a4, but then there's rook b2. Uh, okay, what about knight e5 here? This looks. Oh, it's queen d6. Queen d6. And queen c4, just knight back to f5 for a moment. Uh, protecting d6. I'm trying to get in knight e5, I think, or knight g5. Which one? Knight e5 will hit c4 as well. Could solve some problems with knight e5. Is the queen f6 or anything? For rook e8. Just yet? <clears throat> so knight e5 looks to me uh, a major threat. Then maybe actually queen c4. Oh, strange sack. Isn't there rook e8 here? Oh, check. Oh, winning the knight on f3, that's pretty vicious. The position supports it. What about d7 at the end of this? Is it really supported? Because the king's precarious. Threatening. Um, Queen second, rook e8 now. If rook d7 takes, rook e8. And this is queen e2, there's queen d8. So rook e8 is a major threat. Queen d6 and rook e8 might be a major threat. So this pawn's dangerous. Um, the two knights versus rook scenario. Okay. So I guess rook e8 is not working here. What about queen f6 and then rook e8? King moves, rook takes d8. Um, let me check. Queen of six doesn't quite do the trick. Um, and there's the check here. Check on e8. King g7, rook g1. Where's the king going? Goes to h6. Okay, rook and knight, queen. Hmm. Rook and knight for queen. What about just queen, queen e5, there's queen d7. Uh, so rook e8 is not working. It's a shame. Um, Alright, let's play it. <coughs> Hope for the best. Probably doesn't work. Rook and knight, so attack b2, but I don't know. Getting the pre moves ready. Um, I think c3 looks quite crushing. Oh dear. So I can get a queen. It's too late. Queen d2. Looks as though it's all over. Um, it's an unfortunate one. Lost the time as well. That's it's over. It's a bit unfortunate that game. Oh well, uh, it looks really good. Possession. <coughs> oh dear, it really really good. There's some counterplay from Black. Exchange sack. Then there's clever Queen D3. Queen can't go to C5. Oh well, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.